again welcome back to my channel if you're new here because this is a new channel my name is paulette and welcome 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 so today i'm just going to be giving you a few tips or a few programs in turkish medical schools that no one is going to tell you about what i've noticed about medical school in turkey or in as an international student it's very rare to get someone who is going to explain to you in detail what to do and how to do it and by the time you're catching up you're saying i wish i wish you know i wish i did this i wish i did that so this video is for you and it's for, to prepare you so that you are not saying i wish as much as i did so the first program we are going to talk about is the md phd the md phd program is a program that allows you to do medicine and research the MD PhD program is a program you apply for when you're in your second or your third year. Most of the time, they do not even announce it or they do not even send an email. You will find it on the billboards or you will hear people talking about it. The problem with that is the fact that you get late when it comes to applications. So look out for the MD PhD program uh, on, on the billboards. Most of the time, it's uh, posted at the end of the second year or at the end of the third year. If you feel like you have a formal fear of missing out like I do, you can ask your international student's office to direct you. Even though most of them do not usually know what to do and how to advise you, you can ask your dean because the dean usually has enough information about this. When you apply for the MD-PhD, they call you for an interview and then after the interview, they shortlist. What most international students don't know is the fact that we usually have a quota as international students and this is not a program that is in all Turkish medical schools. But then if you are lucky enough to be in a school like Hacettepe or Jirafasha, then this is a program that you can apply for and you can actually get picked. The second program is the Erasmus program. Very few people know that in medical school you can actually go for Erasmus. I was one of those people. I did not know. And if I knew, I would have gone even earlier. I used to feel like or I used to think that if you go for Erasmus, you can only go in the sixth year as an intern. But then I, I just found out that you can go even in the fourth year or the fifth year. The process of the Erasmus program is you have to have an English exam. Now, they do not accept IELTS. They usually accept TOEFL. But the trick is do not do the TOEFL exam time when your university is giving the Erasmus exam. In my university, for example, they have an Erasmus English exam, which is much, much easier than the TOEFL. The Erasmus English exam in my in this year, for example, in my school, the first person got 96 and the second person got 95.5. And I was very proud of myself. And it's, it's way, way easier than the TOEFL exam because I've done the TOEFL and the IELTS also. They combine your uh, Erasmus English exam with your GPA. They divide it into they divide it by two, and then they you know, in my university they sponsor seven to eight people. They give you the plane tickets. They give you where to stay. So this is a pretty good program to go out there with. Now, if you go in the first to the third year, they do not count it. They do not count the classes you take. But then if you go after the fourth year, I think they do. And in the sixth year, you can go as an intern for two months, not more. And that also depends on your university, because I know in Jirapasha, you can go for uh, more than two months. In Hajetepe, you can only go for two months for the internal medicine uh, program. OK, that's something else I think I will discuss in a longer video. The third one is the Medicep program. It's also called the IF. MSA. If you just Google uh, Medicep, you will see so many things come up. Medicep is a program that unites all medical schools in Turkey. I will list everything in the description box so that you can find them easily. And IFMSA or Medicep uh, usually has an English exam and a medical exam in December. What they do is they announce it around November where you have to register and you register for 20 tele. This year it was 20 tele for registration. You give 20 tele, you do the exam, the Medicep exam. The exam consists of English and medical information. Do not lose hope, however, because first years to the sixth years uh, do this exam. The advantage you have as an international student is the fact that you speak English. Now, what you do is you do the English part excellently. 
And the thing here that people don't usually know is that the English beat is 80% of the exam and the medical beat is only accounts for only 20% of the exam. So if you do the English bit of the exam really, really well, and you get above a 50, you can actually go anywhere in the world. And the, the thing I like about Medicep is you can apply to go literally anywhere in the world, Cuba, Mexico. I got my first placing for Georgia, but then at that time I wanted to go to Mexico, so I did not go. And then the second time I got Malta and then COVID happened, so I did not go. But then this is just to show you that it is actually possible. And when I got Malta, I think I was, I was, I, I had done really well because I was already in the fourth or the fifth year and my medical information was also good. So I did both the English bit and the medical bit. No one, no one will, do, like you will not get penalized for not doing the medical bit. Just go into the exam, do the English bit. If you feel like you're not confident enough to do the medical bit, give back your paper and also because this exam has negative marking especially on the medical part what people don't also tell you is the medical part does not affect the english bit so if for example you get all the medical questions wrong and you get all the english questions right the medical bit doesn't cross over to negative mark the english bit so they just negative mark on their own you understand what i mean like yeah i hope you you get what i mean okay and then after you do the exam there is usually a period of two weeks where they give you the results and then you have to pay like 1600 tele which accounts for your boarding where you will stay and sometimes it accounts for your food i think that's a really good bargain uh because this is a program that is going to be helping you out and you can apply from the first year all through to the sixth year in the first three years they have a research program after the third year that you have the clinical placing where you go into a clinic and you're actually getting practical you know uh, yeah practical practice okay the fourth one is actually you can organize your own and this is something that I have tried and I have actually managed to get. You can organize your own exchange program. You can email so many universities and so many hospitals all around the world if you feel like you're up to it and get placing. And, you know, just go and stay there for a month learning new things. I think as international students or when we are really, really young, we usually feel like you know we are here it's a new country let me explore what we don't realize is four years goes by really really fast and six years for medical school goes by really really fast and you need to also be thinking about the future what am i going to do after this where am i going to go do i want a master's do i want a phd do i want to go into the industry and to be able to know all these things you have to start looking for opportunities early and especially in medical school here where things are very rigid and we go to school you know all year long you forget that during the summer you can actually apply for something i went online and i found a program in ghana where i applied to a hospital and i actually got accepted and the downside to this is you have to save for your plane tickets and your boarding and everything but i was ready to do that because i wanted the experience sadly covid happened covid has been here for so long oh my goodness i don't even get it yeah so this is just to show you that these are uh, these are things that are possible. Like you can actually get these opportunities if you're aggressive enough. The last point or my last point is the Yemek Bourse, the food uh, scholarship. Now, I believe every single university in Turkey has it. I know that Odtu has it. I know Hajitepe has it. And they work differently. Yeah, Some universities send it to your email. Hajitepe also sends it to your email. Please check your email repeatedly, constantly, so that you do not miss the application time. And this usually is open to everyone. It doesn't matter if your GPA is high or low, if you are the child of, I don't know. What they ask for in the application form is your mother's income, your father's income, and if you have siblings, how many siblings you have. Now, the good thing about being an international student in this case is the fact that this scholarship they have a quota for international students yeah and because not so many international students apply for this thing 
if you apply, you get it. Like, I, I don't know any international student who has applied and did not get it. So, please follow up. Please see if you can apply for these things. And, yeah, good luck now in your, in your application. And if you need any more advice, if you need any more information, if you feel like there is information that I have left out and you want more explanation in detail, my Instagram is linked. My email is linked. Please do not be scared of asking. I'm here to answer your questions. Also, do not forget to subscribe and share, share, share so that this information reaches as many people as it can. Okay, guys, see you in my next video. Bye.